as it were. Yeah. It's been around two weeks since I've been here and the last two weeks has been pretty hectic, mostly just setting up my apartment, but I definitely did have some fun times as well. So I went karaoke with some of my friends and the different thing about karaoke in Japan is that you can get all you can drink refills and karaoke is pretty cheap here as well. It was about a thousand yen for four hours and I think it's because we're on a student deal so they have like the refillable drinks and soft serves as well. I have to say right now Niigata's weather has been really beautiful. It's cherry blossom season but the cherry blossoms here are mostly white so it always looks like it's snow falling. I think I actually like the white cherry blossoms more than the pink ones to be honest. And then orientation. We did a lot of paperwork this week and that's mostly orientation. I'm a little bit disappointed that they didn't have any ice breaking activities or self introduction games or just ways for international students to get closer to each other but i guess through these orientation programs during breaks and at the end of each session international students get to talk to each other and kind of form connections that way as well so it's not too bad niga university really takes us through all of the paperwork step by step and they guide us to get our address onto our residency card as well like they hire this really fancy bus with a chandelier to the wood office for us so that we don't have to trek it all the way there and back to the university ourselves which is very very nice of them. I also did a lot of shopping this week so within the new vicinity of university campus there aren't a lot of really big shopping centers that you can go to. There is Uroku which is a grocery store or supermarket around like 10 or 20 minutes of walking distance from university but there aren't any like department stores that are that close by. You have to catch a train in order to get to some and when we were in Niigata city my favorite place to visit is loft in the Bandai shopping mall I don't remember what it's called but they have a loft there and it's stationary heaven you can see all of the stickers that I've bought as well as this little mini Canon photo printer for my diary because I'm a little bit of a journaler myself and it, it's come really handy because it prints from my phone directly and it prints it on high quality photo sticker paper so I don't even have to glue it I can just peel off the backing and stick it onto my diary spread which is really nice also a shop called Donki or Don Quixote the full name which is it's hard to describe what it is it's kind of like a treasure trove of random objects you can find anything you can imagine there the electronics Unreo keychains snacks and food and drinks like pretty much anything you can imagine you can find that you can find Halloween costumes even <laughs> you can't find something within Ikarashi University campus area you can always go into the city to find it uh, or you can use Amazon I'm very glad I have Amazon because with Amazon Prime you can get stuff delivered within two days and it's been really handy for things I needed like um, computer monitors and also converters so with my Australian appliances the plug is different so I had to get these converters to plug into the wall so that the power boards and stuff work and so that I can charge all my devices as well but I think um, in general the second hand stores in Niigata are all very very good um, if you walk a little bit further away from university campus there's a gigantic second hand store called Hard Off and there's another one called Second Street and you can find anything there I got my rice cooker for around 3,500 yen and it was almost in brand new condition when buying it new would cost almost twice as much money. In terms of shopping, I also highly recommend going to Seria, which is a 100 yen shop or a dollar shop basically near university campus and you can get a lot of things necessary to set your life up. And above all, I think the most handy tip to have is to make friends with people who are in Niigata University as exchange students before you, who are leaving before you. <laughs> I'm very lucky that one of my friends from home have um on exchange in Niigata last semester and made some friends here who are staying until middle of this year. So they had a lot of stuff that other people didn't want when they leave that I was able to grab off them like for example a rug, uh, clothes, hangers, um, a drying rack a lot of really necessary things to start up your life that you might not necessarily want to buy brand new if you're coming here the middle of this year I can give you some furniture that those friends leave behind as well yeah for sure definitely try to network yourself with other international students and become good friends because they're gonna be your support network while you're here
We also went through course registration and with course registration is a list of recommended subjects that you can take from Niigata University but I also recommend looking into subjects not on the list if your Japanese is proficient enough. I signed up for a calligraphy class, a basic crafts class and also a program called Double Home which seems to show students around different areas of Niigata Ken, which is the bigger prefecture outside of our university campus. And it looks like an experience that I really want to try out since they take you to rural areas and communities and you get to work on projects with other students of Niigata University. Make sure to check your emails and ask if the content is is in Japanese, it is directed to us because we are learning Japanese and uh, if you need help with any translation or, or anything like that, you can always ask a friend who's better at Japanese than you are or use Google Translator. <laughs> I think my Japanese isn't the best but Google Translator really helps and any questions that you want answered you can always ask them via email as well. Around Niigata could be quite troublesome. Um, it's not a very easy to walk around area because some shops that you need to go to like supermarkets can be like 10 or 20 minutes away. Um, I highly recommend getting a, a bicycle, uh, more specifically a second-hand bike. So me and my friends went to a second-hand recycled bike store, I think it's called Ichikawa and it was ran by a very cute old Japanese couple and uh, they were very very warm and inviting and showed us how the bikes worked in terms of like how the locking mechanisms worked, how the lights turn on and also help us register a TS mark for bicycle insurance since bicycle insurance is mandatory in and also for the anti-theft record. I really recommend going to this place because they are super friendly and the bikes are really high quality as well and for a really good price that you wouldn't to find for a brand new bike with the same features. For example, my bike has six gears, it has the bike lock already included and a working light. They help me make sure that the tires are pumped properly and that everything is safe to use. They're also just really friendly. They showed us pictures of their pets, they had budgies inside the store, it was really cute. However, you do have to go with someone who knows how to speak Japanese because I don't think they're able to speak English at all. But uh, it is a really good way of practicing what you already know from your home country. Uh, I can't wait to ride on my bike, but as of the 1st of April, there is a helmet law, bicycle riders, and I'm just waiting for my, my helmet to arrive from Amazon before I can ride on the bike and go shopping for groceries that way. So tomorrow will be the start of my first classes and I'm looking forward to it and hopefully I'll be able to show you more content in the following weeks. I really want to be able to show you what university clubs and circles are like. So far I have messaged three societies but only the ramen club has gotten back to me um, because I wanted to make sure that those clubs are okay with having international students before I join and disrupt their flow, right? <laughs> But I'll let you know how it goes. Um, yeah, so that's it for today's video and if you have any questions feel free to comment below. If you're already in Niigata and you want to hang out, let me know if you're going to come to Niigata later in the year or even later this semester. Yeah, hit me up. We can hang out. Anyways, I will see you another time and hopefully with more things to talk about. Bye!